I am here to do your full moon and Pisces reading. Um, so the full moon is, is exact tonight at 1034 PM. Super moons are more potent. Okay. Um, especially for clarity and setting intentions. Um, partial lunar eclipses, um, symbolize transformation, closure, and shifts in our personal and emotional lives. These transitions unfold gradually with the eclipse mark in the beginning or continuation of a period of growth. Okay. We all know full moons are about clarity, banishment, clearings, cleansings, um, letting go and releasing. It's in the sign of Pisces and Pisces, um, the themes of Pisces surrounding Pisces have to do with dreaminess, emotionality, and imagination. Okay. That sign is the, their sensitivity factor is high. So putting all this together, okay. The theme of this, uh, super moon partial lunar eclipse in Pisces is about releasing illusions. Okay. It is connected to the truth and true nature of reality, despite our desires, preferences, and resistance. So basically letting go of these ideas in our head that are really illusions. Okay. So let's begin. I'm going to do, um, the tarot spread for the collective for the full moon in Pisces. Okay, the first card is how can the collective be more compassionate with themselves? Okay. How can the collective be more compassionate towards others? What are the collective's dreams trying to tell them? Where in the collective's lives are they not seeing the truth? Where in the collective's lives are they not seeing the truth? Mm. How can the collective strengthen their intuition? Two cards popping out. And message from the collective's higher self. A, a, a message from the collective's higher self. Selves. Where are their higher selves trying to tell the collective? The moon. Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning in passions, a brand new beginning in manifestations, a brand new beginning, a passionate new beginning, um, a brand new beginning in ambitions and actions and taking actions in your drive. How can they be compass more compassionate towards themselves? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands talks about standing up to your truth, being assertive, despite the opposition, despite whoever is against you, standing firmly in your beliefs and fighting for those beliefs. How can the collective be more compassionate towards others? You got the eight of swords. Okay. There's something here about you taking the blindfolds off there's something that you're not seeing. You're not delving into some type of higher knowledge um, or download or, or intuitive sign, intuitive clarity. 
there's something here about feeling trapped or stuck in things that you want to say. And what's funny is, is that usually, you know, like people are so careful to mind their words as to like hurt others. Um, I feel like in order to be compassionate with others, you got to tell them the truth. Um, you're blinding yourself to the truth about a person, place, or situation, and you're not speaking up for yourself regarding this other person, place, or thing. Um, what are your dreams trying to tell you? Three of Pentacles, a collaboration, okay? This is pooling together resources in order to build something, okay? 555 on my time. Um, this is, you know, teamwork. This is interdependence. Um, this is coming together and building towards something. So your dreams are trying to tell you something about the value of teamwork, the value of interdependence. Um, pay attention to your dreams having to do with themes surrounding others, partnerships, relationships, friendships. Remember, Pentacles also has to do with time and energy, groundedness, security, safety, commitments, okay? Maybe some type of big commitment having to do with a group of people or another person, but ascending with this group of people, contributing with this group of people, investing into this group of people, and to build something greater than yourselves, okay? The fourth card is, where in, where in the collective's lives are they not seeing the truth? You got the world card. The world talks about Stepping out of the old to step into the new. This is a completion, okay? Resonates to 21. Two and one is three. That's a lesson. So there's something here about you're not seeing where there's a, there's a cycle here that you need to complete. Step out of that old world. You're in a whole new world. You're in a whole new league. You're in a whole new chapter. And some things from the past cannot come forward with you into this new chapter of your life. You're clinging on to something from the past or something that you're familiar with or some type of conformity. And it's preventing you from stepping into this new world. Um, how can you strengthen your intuition? You got the four of swords and the nine of pentacles. Okay. Four of Swords talks about mentally resting from a situation, not speaking, not uh, expressing your truth, just literally resting. And the Nine of Pentacles talks about being appreciative for where you are. Um, Nine of Pentacles is a free empress energy. Okay, this is someone who is lavish, surrounded by wealth and abundance. And I'm not just talking about financial. I'm talking about in all aspects, maybe an abundance of health, an abundance of happiness, an abundance of resources, an abundance of um, comfort, an abundance of um, um, groundedness, security, stability, safety, okay? You not saying much, not doing much, but just basking in everything that you have, everything you've obtained, and where you're going to invest next. Because Dine talks about releasing. It talks about um, the step below a completion. And in order to get this to, the, to this completion, something needs to be released, okay? So not saying anything, being very mindful and demure, not doing too much, doing just enough, <laughs> being thankful thankful and grateful for where you are, where you've been, and where you are going. Your message from your higher self, your subconscious, is the moon, okay? 
There's something here about clarity. There's something here about um, either there's some type of secret, okay, um, that is being revealed, exposed, some type of clarity and truth. Um, intuition, okay, you know, tap into your intuition, tap into your gut, tap into your spirit team, tap into your higher self, um, especially with this full moon. Okay. It, it, like the, this full moon is very significant for you. Okay. We did talk about partial lunar eclipses, you know, being like, go, like, especially this one with, with the one in Pisces is about, it talks about going with the flow. It talks about gradually stepping into the, this new beginning. Okay. And Figuring out what you're going to continue and what you're going to be releasing. Okay. But this is a gradual move because it's going with the flow, right? The, the moon also talks about like some, something that you're keeping to yourself that you're not being honest with yourself about. And in turn, you're not being honest with others about this as within, so without, remember? What does this have to do with? For more information, please. Or clarify or verify. What does this further... What can you tell me further about this reading? Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. One more, please. I'm here and taking the next step. Drop the, uh, what I got before I, and thank you for reminding me, Spirit. Um, what I got before, um, I even started doing this reading. I got dropping the logic. How do you feel? Okay. So there's something here about like getting out of your own mind, your own mind's illusions. Okay. Um, this has to do with some type of manifestation. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Okay. There's something here that you're not saying. There's, there's something here that you want, you really want this thing, but you're trapping yourself in some, some type of illusion, especially with the Eight of Swords. It's like you're putting on these, like, blinders on to not see the truth, to not see these, like, fires everywhere, right? And instead of putting them out, you're sweeping them under the rug, and you're just pretending they're not there. Um... You're not talking about ending something, okay? You're not being firm in something that you truly want, okay? This is preventing you from acting towards the truth, okay? And remember what I said something about dropping the logic? I don't see any cups here, okay? I see money. I see swords. I see wands. The only card that signifies like emotions to me is the moon, but like you have to be in your emotions in order to tap into like your intuition. Okay. Cause you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be vulnerable with yourself. And that that's the message from your higher self. And that was a confirmation beep. You heard that. Um, there's something about someone around you was just using you for your money. Okay, for your connections, for your resources. It says they want your money, you're being used. Okay. There's something here about a math. Um, they're trying to manifest this, or they're banking on your you manifesting things or your ability to manifest things. 
okay and they're using that and with gold digger it could it, it doesn't have to be necessarily just money it could be resources time energy okay i'm getting harvesting energy somebody's harvesting your energy to turn their luck around to um something about karmic debt like they know they're facing some type of karma and you know intuitively that they're facing some type of type of karma and You know that this person is just here for a good time and not a long time with the gold digger card. This person is using you for something. There's something here. It, it, it could also be just to validate them. Um, it could also be just to like say that, oh, I'm with someone or I have someone. Um, arm candy. That's what I'm getting. Like, like arm candy. And I'm only saying that because like she's clinging on to the guy. Um, And then it says, give it time. Everything in divine time means let things flow. Remember the whole concept of letting things flow? There's something here about, like, you're speedy with this manifestation, this brand new beginning in, in passion that you want. You're not waiting on divine timing or you're being impatient with divine timing and you're settling for things that don't line up with your idea of, this manifestation about what you're truly trying to manifest in life, in love, in relationships, and finances, and happiness, and health, um, and you're settling for something that is detrimental to you that doesn't serve your highest good because you're trying to manifest instead of letting the universe take the reins and take control on this. Um, it's like you're trying to speed up this manifestation, 1717 17 on my time. Um, you're trying to speed up this manifestation, but you're choosing things that are not what you manifested, just because it, they fit some criteria of the manifestation but they're not completely the whole thing it's not completely the whole thing so it kind of leaves you in this energy where you're like unsatisfied emotionally and the only reason why i'm saying that because again there's no cups here it's like you're, you're thinking about this thing person place or thing that you are kind of like making things happen with you're thinking about it in a logical perspective you're thinking about it in a financial perspective but you're not thinking about it through your feelings. That's the only thing that's missing here is love. And if you're not in it emotionally, then this person isn't in it emotionally either. And it's like, that's the mirroring. If it's a person, person, place, or thing, that's the mirroring of like the dual lesson that needs to be taught, that needs to be taught here um, or learned here, learned, learned. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I don't know. Um, I hope someone was able to obtain some type of clarity. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm available for personal readings, parties and events. All my information is within the description box. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. And don't forget to set your full moon intentions and make sure that they are geared towards releasing. Full moons are not about manifesting. They're about releasing in order to manifest for the new moon. Talk to you later, guys.